Morning everybody. My buddy Luke called me and said they got some muskrats tearing up their embankment in this field. You can see it's in the right dead smack in the middle of this cornfield. It is not a very big pond. Um, they got huts right here. Here's a hut. I already got it set up in the runs. Um, they've eaten every single cattail around the pond. There is not one cattail up. So that lets me know that, you know, it's pretty populated. They got runs going out. There's bubble trails everywhere. I got a few colony traps set. We'll see what happens tomorrow. It's kind of hard to see the bubble trails because the ice is frosted over with the snow coat. So we will see how we do tomorrow. And uh, I'll show you the results. All right, guys. morning guys so we're at this pond in the middle of this field and uh this farmer basically asked me to come trap because these muskrats are tearing up his embankment if you look right here i mean it's frozen over but that's a muskrat toilet on that culvert pipe and then if you look we got holes all over here I mean, they're just eating this embankment up. And we got bubble trails coming out, which is good. That lets me know there's a muskrat there. See that bubble trail right there? It's a spot to set a colony trap. So I got a few set yesterday. We'll check a couple and uh, see how we did. So if you notice right here, these were all cattails they chewed up. There's not one standing cattail you can see them all the way around so they're pretty active i got a colony trap right here you can see the bubbles so we're gonna go ahead and Got rat, one rat. So I'm basically just setting in the runs wherever I see bubble trails. It's not a very big one. Yeah, um, the ice yesterday I couldn't see because there was snow over the ice. So I just kind of blindly set a few colony traps. Let's get him out of here. Nice winter rat. I guess he's not too bad. We'll take him. Well, we got some snow last night. We got coyote tracks up in here. So, gonna set for one of those late season. They're coming into that back corner. Um, it's starting to thaw. There was nothing in this... Uh, colony right here um, we got another one over here there's bubbles coming out everywhere so the ice is stalled where the holes are and uh, you can see down there where I set the colony traps I was actually worried today we got snow last night that I wouldn't be able to find the traps so let's get down in here All right. So it looks like we got two rats in there. Not bad. So I'll get them out of there. I'm basically just looking for, you know, bubble trails under the ice. Now that it's thawing, I can kind of see where they're going. The mud's a little more prevalent with the open ice. I can still see the bubble trails, so. Yeah, this one's teeth lodged in there. All right, there we go. Not a bad, nice winter rats, nice coats on them, so. Not too shabby. There's two starting out. 
we got some more sets over here we'll go check and uh see how we do we got one rat in here yesterday you can see the bubble trails um i wasn't expecting there to be more than one but i left it in here and the holes are starting to open up like they're not actually um it's about 40 degrees here today and we got snow last night so see one in there that's a nice one get him out of there oh yeah it's a fat boy so they got their winter winter fur going on they're looking pretty good it's a nice healthy one right there so yeah you know look for those bubble trails i can't stress to you that enough um now i can actually get out in the water and uh feel around for holes wherever i do see bank uh you know bubble runs so um so far i figured out that a lot of these holes only got one rat in them one or two so we're gonna go over and look by the hut um check it out i got another trap down here we'll check real quick on our way it's another hole right there i need to set another single but uh we'll take it so yeah i mean like i said i only got a few colonies here not bad dry him off in the snow a little bit nice rats you know i wasn't expecting a lot of adults in here um because they said there weren't rats in this pond last year when they had a bean field now they had corn in here last year so it offered a lot of cover in here you know so they travel up through these these streams and they get in here and there's a hut down here like i said we're on our way to go check we'll go check it out and i'll see you down at the hut man the dogs are really running through here didn't realize how close they are to the pond so Looks like there's two, maybe three. The tracks look a lot bigger because the snow's melting, but uh, I mean, they're all right size coyotes, but yeah. Pretty cool. Definitely gonna set this up. Yeah, there's two of them. One right there, one right there. So, all right. Here's the hut. You can kind of see it. So we're over here at the hut. You can see some activity right there in the front of it. So um, I haven't caught one here yet. I've caught them all around the pond. But uh, I'm allowed to actually set inside the hut here. Um, there's no restriction against that. Um, so I'll probably put a trap right inside of it. And... Uh, when it freezes up, a lot of them are gonna use this because they can come up and feed and get air. And uh, you know, there's a hawk that perches on those power lines over there. So this is pretty much the only immediate cover. Um, so you would think that the hut would actually be loaded with rats since there's nothing literally around the pond. So I'm gonna set that up and we'll check that out tomorrow. But uh, you know, thanks guys, thanks for tuning in. Be safe out there if you're still on the line and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.